Do you remember Edward VIII and his love for the divorced Wallace Simpson? It was a relationship forbidden by the Anglican Church. But he abdicated because he could not carry the heavy burden of kingship without the woman he adored. It was when I first heard this that I realised I would not give up my kingdom for you. The moment I first laid eyes on you, yours emanated a light that sliced open a vortex in my world and swept me up in it. You were a queen, and all I could see were the jewels of your crown. The ruby of passion, emerald adventure in a sapphire calm. Everything I aspired to stared back at me when our pupils aligned. My vision has been grand with promise since my newborn eyes first glimpsed sunrise. The palaces I had always longed to create matched the gold of your soul and now I'd found you I cared for nothing but that we would design and mould them together. You were it. Through your energy I learnt to extract each of my desires and polish them until I could see my reflection. Gems for my own coronet. Suddenly there were not enough hours in the day but magic in every minute and I wanted to do it all because you were by my side. You felt it too. Poured your secrets into me like elixir in the night. The world was our playground and we explored it together from Budapest to the Temple of Caesar at Rome. Crowded House said he could not conquer the blue sky but I knew that we could. I thought I need never to search for anything again as long as I could blindly follow the chaotic colour you left behind with every step you took the way you were bent on following mine. So blindly I did. I say blindly, not because my love was naive, but because appreciating every atomic vibration of your miraculous existence became such second nature to me that I failed to notice right away, somewhere along the line, you had stopped appreciating yourself. How could this be, when my promise to this universe was to love you until you knew without a doubt that everything is possible, until impossible was a word you could no longer pronounce because we had rewritten it out of our dictionary and I thought I was fulfilling that duty to you like it was my birthright. I knew you wanted to build. A family, a legacy, an empire, but now each dream you once conjured appeared tedious to you, one milestone too heavy and far in the future. Could you not see how far we had already come? How our love was a pair of diamond pillars that could hold up the world with more conviction than Atlas's shoulders? Recall your aspirations, woman. Do you remember that book you wanted to write? Where is all that fervor and fever? Spill it onto the page. I want to see it. Wake up! Wake up! hated to admit it but your jewels were beginning to rust despite the effort with which I shined them round the clock with more elbow grease than my own. For the first time I feared for our future and you know the claret of a ruby can start to look a lot like danger when you panic. Was it me or were your emeralds green because you were jealous of all I was achieving? I was becoming blue as those dimming sapphires. In the beginning we were two suns, defying science by orbiting each other. At night, two moons, luminous, iridescent. When I filled my lungs with air, you grew full as the 28th day. When you exhaled, I crescented. We were our own lunar cycle, where the world revolved around us, and not the other way round.
now we have both crawled, cratered, and while I crave only to wax you wane, we fell off our axes and as much as I wanted us to do this together, if I ever loved you, I could not permit that to happen. I've come to learn that these grooves we've given each other are not scars, they're paths. A fork in the road for a bittersweet meal. Wield it as a weapon for your hungry fight and I promise it will lead to a banquet even though dragging you kicking and screaming across the floor was a knife in my heart. Tenderness was not what you needed. I can see a soft glow around you now. There's a light that's burning in your aura inspired by that pain of our separation and a drive to finally go out there and get what you want. I know the future's bright for both of us, but right now, not together. I thank you wholeheartedly for your impact on my journey. I promise to take these scars and stitch them into a masterpiece and I hope you do the same. But not for me. Not for me. Thank you.